All right, guys, so now we are going to look over the section 112, and we are going to try to solve some of the word problems. So the first thing I want to tell you when you're trying to solve a word problem <clears throat> is to read properly your word problem. If you read your problem with a voice who doesn't change at all, you're not making the problem interesting, so you cannot have a spark of an idea. So let me read the problem number five, page 48. Let me add the page on this. So on the problem number five, a certain new car costs $5,000 more than the same model new car cost six years ago. Together, a new model today and six years ago cost $64,000. What was the cost of each? So the question is, find the cost of a car today and find the cost of a car six years ago. They are telling you that the car today, Y, is equal to the car to the cost of the car six years ago plus $5,000. So right now, your eyes are seeing one equation and that's the equation Y equal X plus 5,000. They are also telling you that the sum of X plus Y is supposed to be equal to $64,000. So now you have a second equation. When you look at these two equations, you have two equations and two variables. Therefore, you can find x and y while how by substituting y from the equation number one into the equation number two. x plus x plus 5,000 equals 64,000. So I end up to have 2x plus $5,000 equals 64,000. I subtract $5,000 because I'd like to remind you that I'm looking for the variable x. And once, once I will find the variable x, I will be able to find the variable y. 2x equals 59,000 dollars and so x equal 59,000 divided by 2 because I must divide by 2 both sides of my equation. So x equal 29,500 dollars and so y equal 29,000 $500 plus 5,000. So the car today compared to the car six years ago cost $34,500. All right, let's try to do another problem. Let's try to do the problem number number eight. So let's read the problem number eight together. A business website had twice as many hits on the first day of a promotion as on the second day. If the total number of hits for both days was 495,000, find the number of each each day. So the first thing you want to do is to call X the number of hits on day one, and y, the number of hits on day two. They are telling you that the number of hits on day two, on day one, is equal to two times the number of hits on day two. And they are also telling you that the sum of the number of, of hits on day one plus the number of hits on day two is equal to 495,000. So that's pretty easy, same idea. I'm going to substitute x inside my equation number two. I have two equations, two variables. 
And so if I substitute x for my equation number one into my equation number two, I got 2y plus y. 2y plus y equal 495,000. So 3y equal 495,000. So y equal 495,000 divided by 3. So that means the number of hits on day 2 is 165,000. And if I want to find the number of hits on day 1, it's going to be 2 times 165,000, which is going to be 330,000 hits. Let's try to do problem number 12. Problem number 12. And what I want to show you is that it's, it is always the same thing. First, you must read properly the pro your problem. Second of all, you need to translate, pull out the information that your problem is giving you in order for them to maybe represent your problem by drawing a picture of your problem, but at least making sure that you are naming the variables the way you want. I decided to use X and Y, but I could have used H for the H1 for the heat number one and H2 for heat number two uh, on day two for the previous problem. So on the problem number 12, what do we have? Three meshed spur gears have a total of 170. If the second gear has 13 more teeth than the first and the third has 15 more teeth than the second, how many teeth does each have so first of all what i want to do is name each meshed spur gears so i'm going to call x the mesh the gear number one i'm going to call y the gear number two and i'm going to call z the gear Number three, they are telling you that the three meshed spur gears have a total of 107 feet. So they are telling you that X plus Y plus Z equal 107. Right now, you have one equation, three variables. You need to have two more equations in order for you to end up to have three equations, three variables. And if you have three equations, three variables, you will be able to find each variable by substituting and combining and dividing and subtracting, adding or multiplying. Always this very simple mathematic calculation what we always do. So this, how do you find the second equation? They are telling you that the second gear, which is Y, has 13 more teeth than the first one. So y equal x plus 13. But they're also telling you that the gear number 3, z, has a 15 more teeth than y. So it's y plus 15. Okay, so we have three equations, three variables, very simple way to do it. What we can do is try to, you may have the idea to say, I have Y right here. I have Z. I'm going to substitute Y and Z inside the equation number one. If you do that, you end up to have X plus X plus 13. So far, so good. You have only one variable. Uh, and plus z, it's going to be plus y, plus 15, equal 107. When you do that, you have one equation, two variables. You must do something else. And to do that, it's going to be very simple. You are going to substitute your y by x plus 13 a second time, because right now y appears second time. So you end up to have x plus x plus 13, then you substitute again y by x plus 13 plus 15 equal 107. Now we got 3x, 26 plus 5, 31, 
plus 10, 41, equal 107. I subtract 41 both sides. I don't need this. And up to have 3x equal 106 minus 40, 66. x equals 66 divided by 3 because I divide by 3 both sides and so x equals 22. <coughs> Excuse me, so now in order for me to find y, well I know that y equals x plus 13 so y equals 22 plus 13 which gives me 35 and I know that z equals y plus 15 which is 50. Let's try to do one more. All right, in this problem number 17, a natural gas pipeline feeds into three smaller pipelines, each of which is 2.6 kilometers longer than the main pipeline. The total length of the four pipelines is 35.4 kilometers. And the question is, how long is is each section. All right, so reading the problem with you uh, very quick, um, I, I read first the problem very quickly, and as you can see, I made a tiny mistake, because when I read the problem with you more slowly, I realized that, that what they were saying was that the distance, the length, sorry, the length of the pipeline uh, number one is equal to the length of the main pipe plus 2.6 kilometer. Same thing for the pipeline number two, x plus 2.6, and same thing for the pipeline number three, x plus 2.6. They are also saying that the length of the main pipeline plus y plus z plus w is equal to 35.4. Well, in that case, it's going to be very simple because I'm just going to, sub to substitute y, z, and w by x plus 2.6 every single time. x plus 2.6 plus x plus 2.6 equals 35.4. And up to have 1, 2, 3, 4x plus 7.8. Equal 35.4. I'm subtracting 7.8 both sides. I end up to have 4x equal 27.6. And then I divide by 4. I divide by 4. And I got x equal. So guys, I made the calculation very quickly. X equals 6.9 kilometers. That's the length of the main pipe. And so the three smaller pipe, Y, Z, and W, have, will have a, each, of, a, each of them a length of 9.5 kilometers. So finally, what I want to say for this section is really take time to read your problem. Go very slowly. Represent, read your problem properly, name your variable, skip, skip line when you're writing your, your, your problem, you're, you're trying to solve your problem. It will help you to have a better vision of what you need to do and where you need to go. And uh, everything should be all right. Thank you very much.